Daf Lamed Amid Beis will begin Lamed Amid Aleph, seven lines from the bottom at the end of the line. <coughs> Continuing with our discussion of the Pasuk in Kohelis. So Shlom HaMelech said that the Kelev, the dog, if he's alive, he's better even than the lion, the great lion, who's mess. So he's praising life. He's praising those who are alive. So what is that referring to? It says in the post. It says in post in Tehillim. So Dabar Melech asked the Rabbi Shalom to be known the end of his time, the end of his days, and when he will no longer be alive. Let me know the end of my days. That people are not informed of their end. It's a xer. Rabbi Shalom says, I don't inform, people are not informed when their end is. Umidas Yom Mahi. The David asks to know the measure of his days. How long will he live? Xerum Lafanish in Moidim Amidas Yamav Shal Adam. Sixer, they don't let people know. The Aida Mechadalani. Well, at least let me know when I will end, meaning, at least let me know the day of the week. What would be the day of the Petira? You won't know exactly how well he will live, how long he will live. It's at least the day that he's Nifter. Let him know which day it is that he's going to be Nifter. So the Rabbi Nishalom Amar Lai B'Shamus Tamus. He said, "You will be nifter on Shabbos." So Dovid Amel has Amos Bech B'Shamus. Let it be rather on Sunday and not on Shabbos. He didn't want to be uh, nifter on Shabbos because you can't do the kfur on Shabbos, and we'll have to be there without kfur. Let it be rather on Sunday. The Rabbi Nishalom answered, "No." The time has come for your son, Shlema Melech, to take over the Malchus, for him to be the ruler. And one Malchus does not overlap into the other, even from a hair's breadth. <clears throat> when the times come for the new king, then his time has arrived, he has to come immediately without delay. So it's the time for Shlema Melech. On Sunday already is the time for Shlema Melech to take over. So we can't prolong your life by one day. So therefore, Damaru Melech has asked if they're okay, at least almost be Erev Shabbos. Be a day earlier, let it be on Erev Shabbos. Amr later, Rabbi Shalom said, no. Ki tayviyam b'chatziracha me'alev. One day in your court is better than a thousand. What does that mean? It's a reference. It's better for me one day of your life. One extra day, one day is better. It's more than the thousands of the korbanas that your son Shlom is going to be marked on the Mizbeach. I'm not going to take your life a day early because your day, your life is so precious to me. Even one day that your Isaac and Teira is more precious than a thousand of Shlomo Mel's Korbanus. So, therefore, he was informed, David Abelach was informed, that he would be Nifter on Shabbos. So, as we'll see, therefore, what his Kavana was to know the day, what his Kavana was is that the day that the Petir was supposed to be, he'll be Isaac Petira every second of the day, so the Malach HaMavis will not be able to be Shailet, and therefore he will not be taken. So there were kol yom the Shabbos of Yosef Igaras kol yom. The entire day of Shabbos, he knew that Shabbos would be the day of the Petira. So the entire Shabbos, he would be learning constantly the whole day. And the Shabbos, and therefore the Mal Hamaves was not able to take him. Was not shoyle. How yom the boy lemeach nafshe, but the day where it was supposed to be his day of the Petira, come Mal Hamaves kame velayachle. So the Mal Hamaves came and he came to take it, but he couldn't. Couldn't be Shoyla, and he couldn't take him because Dabra Melech was Isaac Bater the whole day. The Lava Pasuk, Puma Megirsa, the learning did not cease from his mouth. He was constantly learning Tyre. Omar Mavile, so the Malach Mavile said, said to himself, what, what can I do? What should I do now to be able to be fulfill the task, the mission of taking him? 
Havle Bustan Achre Besa, there was an orchard behind the palace. Also, Malach Mavas Salach Bon Shvi Alona, the Malach came and he was shaking the trees, he's rustling the trees, shaking and making a loud noise. Nafach Lamech says, the daughter Malach went out to see what's this commotion in, in the garden. So, Nafach Lamech says, Havasalach Vidarga, he was going down the stairs. And if has darga me to say, and the underneath the stairs, the stairs caved in, which caused him to stumble. And ishtik v'nach nafshi. So at that moment, then he stopped learning. He stopped learning. The malchamavis then was able to to take him, and he was nifter. So Dovner Melch was now nifter. He was lying out there, in in the orchard there. He's lying out in the sun. And he was nifter. Shalach Shlema lebe midrasha. Shlema Melch sent a shaila to the base of Medrash, and he said as follows: Abba Meis umutol b'chama. He said his father Dovr Melach was nifter. He's lying out in the sun, and it's Shabbos. Uklavim shall be savarevim, and he said the dogs are hungry. Ma'asa, what should I do? Shalcholedi said back to him: Chasoyich nevela v'hanach lufnei aklavim. You can feed the dogs, cut up a nevela, it's not muksa. You can feed the dogs and cut up the nevela and feed it to the dogs. As far as your father, then as far as your father, his muksa, you can't carry him, but you can put on a kikar, a loaf of bread or a tinak on top of him, and out of that, then you can carry him. So the nevela is not muksa. To feed the dogs, is permitted. But Dovra Melech, the king, the Are, the lion, he was nifter. You can't move him, you can't carry him, you have to put a kicker at Tinak. So we see that's the reference that better the the dog who's high, Yafa Kelv Chai, Hames from the lion who died. And we can do what we can do for the dog, we cannot do for the king once he's nifter. So what we, the ace only is to move the mace. You cannot move the mace. The mace is muksa. You can put on a kikar or a tinnik, a loaf of bread, and, and out of that you can move it. And normally that does not allow you to carry a muksa just because you put a non-muksa item on that. But look over the mace, the homer matir, to put a non-muksa item on top, and out of that you could carry the mace. But this is what the reference is that we see that Yafa Kelev Achai Mariam mace. But lay off a shleima kele kelev chai hu toib min hamez. That isn't proper what the Pesach says, ki lekelev chai. For the kelev chai, it's better than ayam is. Now, we started this whole discussion. What was the relevance in this whole discussion? That we started this whole discussion that with a shaila about whether you can extinguish the flame for a purpose of a chayla. So, and the Shaila that Rav Tanakhim said, the question that you asked me, so coming back, so you went off on a somewhat of a tangent to discuss this Milsa Dagarta. As far as the Shaila that you asked me, can you extinguish the Nair? Nair, Kriya Nair. A candle is called a Nair. Vinishma, so Shaladam, Kriya, and a Nishama of a person is called a Nair. Mutav, Tich, Vinair, Shalbasa, Vadam, Ibnay, Nair, Shalkarish, Barko. It's better to extinguish the Nair of a Basar. Adam to extinguish the candle to preserve in order to save the candle, the nair of the Rabbinic Shalom. So it's Bikoch Nafashas, it's Mutter. And as Rosh Hashanah speak out, this is not the Makor. The Makor is Vachai Behem. We know that Bikoch Nafashas is Deich Shabbos, it's Vachai Behem, Veloishi Amos Behem. But this is a Milsva Gadata, he expressed it in a way that would be Meshach the Lev in the signet and the manner of a Milsva de Gadata. Amar Miura Barayir of Shmuel Bar Shlishes made the Rav Bikshu Chacham Lignay Sefer Kahelas. The Chachamim wanted to hide Sefer Kahelas. Why? Because it seems to contradict each other. Why did they not hide it away? Because it starts with Divrei Tara and it ends with Divrei Tara, so therefore it's it's Divrei Tara. Therefore they did not hide it away and they took effort and pains to reconcile the apparent steers. Tchilosa de Ritter, where do we see the beginnings of the Ritter? What is there, what benefit does a person have for what all he works under the sun? 
So how is that a reference to Divrei Torah? Where do you see that this is referring to Divrei Torah? Vam the Bein Rabbi Yana, he says, Tachas Hashem Esh Uda Inlay, Kaidem Hashem Esh Yeshlo. Tachas Hashem Esh under the sun, there's no profit, there's no benefit for all the words. But Kaidem Hashem Esh, that which was created before the sun, that which was created before Bria Sayla, meaning the Torah, there's benefit, there's profit in all that he works and he toils in Divrei Torah. <clears throat> so that's uh, for you see that chilas of Divrei Torah. Seif of Divrei Torah, Dachsiv. Seif Davra Kol Nishma. At the end, all is heard. Eselakim Yirei Yavetz Mitzvay Sof Shemar Kizah Kol Ha'adam. Learn Torah, keep the mitzvahs. That's the whole person. It's Divrei Torah. All that's important is Torah mitzvahs. Ma Kizah Kol Ha'adam. What does it mean when it refers to Zeh Kol Ha'adam? Amma Rabbi Elazar Kol Ha'adam Kulo Lein Nivra Ela Bishvil Zeh. The whole world was created for a person who learns Torah, who's a Yorishamayim. Rabbi Ava Barkana, Amar Shalkel said, "Can I get Koylam Kula?" He is his employees' worth, his entire world, uh, as much as entire world. He's a, the Yorishamayim. He is equal to is equal in Chashivas to the entire world. Shimon ben Azay, I'm Rav Alma Shimon Zayim, I'm Leinivra Kolam Kula Ella Letzaves Lase. The whole world was made just to be an accompaniment to accompany this person who's a Yerushalayim, who learns Torah as a Yerushalayim. The whole world, what was created in the world, what's it for? It's for, for the Yerushalayim. It's for the person who learns Torah. All of it is to give him, to help him, to give him company, to do things for him, to carry out tasks for him. It's to serve this person. That's what the whole world's for. Zekizek kol ha'odah. So it's Trilosa de Ritara, Saifa de Ritara, and therefore, even though there's some apparent contradictions in the Sefer Kahels, they did not hide it away. In fact, the Gemara, Omai, Dvoros, Saisim, said, What are these contradictions that we're referring to? Because it says, Xiv, Tlaikas, Mishraik. It says that anger is better than laughter. Xiv, Lishraik, Samati Mohol. But then it says, it says, for laughter, it's praiseworthy. It says, I praise Simcha. Then it says, And it says, Simcha, what's the purpose? What's the benefit of it? So it seems to be contradictions. Is Simcha beneficial? Is it not? Is Kaas better than Simcha? Simcha better than Kaas? So how do we resolve these theories? Like Kasha. It's not a Kasha. Taif kas mischaik. When it says that anger is better than schaik and laughter, taif kas shekayish kodesh boruch al tzadikim boil mazeh. This anger that he has with tzadikim boil mazeh is better mischaik shemesach kodesh boruch al shayim boil mazeh. It's better than schaik. Now one is anger, one is punishment, one is schaik, but better the anger that he has for tzadikim. He he, with that he's mechaper on the averus and they have oilam haba. It's better than the schaik. And the laughter, the the reward that is given, the reward that is given to Rishayim and Oilam Hazah, the cast for the is better. The reward that's given to Rishayim and Oilam Hazah, ultimately that will be for their downfall because that will be at the expense of their Oilam Hava. That the reward is Oilam Hazah, no Oilam Hava. The cast for Tzadikim, they have punishment in Oilam Hazah, but through that they'll be Zoycha to Oilam Haba. The pasuk that says that schayik is praiseworthy is that schayik shemesachik or shborkam tzadikim boilam haba, and that's the schayik that's reserved for tzadikim and oilam haba. That is better. That's best. That is the, the praiseworthy. That's something that to be mishabeach. V'shabach v'shibach the anias has simcha and I praise the simcha. What simcha is praiseworthy? Simcha shal mitzvah. And when it says Simcha, what's the benefit? The Pasuk that says, what's the purpose? What's the benefit of Simcha? That is Simcha, Zu Simcha, She'enol Shemitza. That's a Simcha, which is not a Simcha Shal Mitzvah. So that teaches you, that's resolves, that's Miyash of the Stira. And this, what it says, that's praiseworthy, Simcha Shal Mitzvah, Lilam Dachad teaches you, She'en Shechinashar, Lemitach Atzus, how precious and Simcha Shal Mitzvah is. So you learn out from there. That the shechina is not sure doesn't rest from from being sad, being in a state of being sad. The loy mitoyich atzlos and not from laziness. Loy mitoyich shoyik and not through being a lightsonis or shoyik or lighthearted. 
But let me tell you, Kalos Harayish, and not Kalos Harayish, and not through making fun of things, ridicule things, let me tell you, and not through Dvarim Batalim, and let me say, not me tell you, not me schmoozing, and not Dvarim Batalim, El me tell you, Dvar Simcha Shal Mitzah. It's only the Simcha Shal Mitzah, the Simcha Shal Mitzah, that state of mind, that's where a person, where a person is enable, enables him to have Ashra's Ashkina. Shenemer. And we see the pasuk by Elisha. It says, "Va'atak chuli min nagin, va'ikin nagin amen nagin, v'ati alav yarashen." It says, "Bring a musician. The musician plays that put in, put him in a state of mind of simcha. And when he was in a state of mind of simcha, v'ati alav yarashen." Amar Rabbi Yudah says, "V'chein l'dvar halocha." So simcha, you see the importance of simcha. He says, "For Ashras Ashchina, it's also for dvar halocha when you're teaching Torah." Learning Torah, teaching Torah should be in a state of simcha. And for an Amar type and to have a dream, a good dream, which dreams, as we learn in Sechus Brachos, Parakaraya, is dreams could be could be as a, a nevua. And certainly in, the, in the, those days, today much less, but dreams could be, show nevua. To have that kind of a good dream that shows a nevua and a davar taiv is through being in a state of simcha, a person has a chalim toiv. So you tell me that l'dvar toiv simcha is beneficial in effect to Gemara. How can you say that Bama Rav Gilma Rav called Talmud Chacham Shiyesh of Nei Rava and the Talmud that's sitting before his Rebbe, ve'ein sif seisav, noit bar, and his lips are not dripping with with fear, with noit with a bitter, with fear of a bitterness from coming from fear, the kavena. Will be burnt, will be singed in the in the uh, fire of Gehenna. Shenema asif soisa shoshanim noitzes moira oiver. It says that his lips are shoshanim, literally means roses, are dripping with moir, with passing moir. I'll take him more oiver. Don't read it more mer. It's not more ella, more mar oiver. Bitterness. Right? When he's learning Torah, a Talmud that's learning Torah from his Rebbe has to have trembling and fear. And his lips have to be kilu that they're that they're flowing from them, dripping from them, is something bitter. And I'll take Rishonim. Don't read it. roses. Ela Shoshinim. Those that are learning and <coughs> are learning in front of the Rabbi have to be with fear and trembling and fear. So you're telling me that for Talmud Kfein of Bar Halacha, the importance of Simcha, we seem to see over here just the opposite. For Rabbi Gemara like Asha, Habba Rabbi Habba Talmud. It's a difference if we're talking about the Rebbe or the Talmud. The Rebbe teaching Torah, the state of mind that he teaches the Torah, he should be Moli Simcha. And in that way, he's able to impart the Torah to the Talmudim, he's full of Simcha. That's the way to teach the Torah. But the Talmud himself, he should be with trembling and fear and awe before his Rebbe. And that's the relationship, and in that way is the proper way of Mesir Torah. The Rebbe is with Simcha. Mali Simcha in giving over the Torah. The Talmud is with trepidation and fear when he's learning the Torah. The Baisema, another Torah, is <coughs> in both ways you can talk about the Rebbe. How is that? It should be with Simcha or with fear. Loikasha. Hamnikam in the Liftach. Be talking about before he starts to teach. Halabas in the Liftach. And we can be talking when after already he starts to give over the Shir, the Torah. Kihad the Rabbah, like we find by Rabbah, Mikam made the Pasuk Lula Rabban before he started giving over teaching the Torah to the Talmidim, Amr Milsa Bidri Chusa. He first said something that was caused them to laugh, caused them to be of Simcha. He said over a Milsa Abidi Chusa, something like a joke. Ubat Hirabon, and they laughed. So he put them in a frame of mind of Simcha. But, Olusayf Yasib Be'imsa. Then after that, and there would be a, after that, after that initial Milsad Bihusa, there was an atmosphere of fear. Upasuk Bishmaisa, and then he started to teach them the Torah and the Shir, he started to give over the Shir. So we were talking before about Kohelis, they wanted to hide it away because of apparent contradictions. Similarly, the Sefer of Mishle, they also had in mind initially to be going as it, to hide it away. Shehidvara says that because it also had apparent contradictions in the Savior. 
Oh, Neymar, and so why didn't they do that? Why didn't they hide it away? We looked to try to resolve and find the time and the reasoning to resolve the hysterias and say for Kahala, Simchat Kaz. So here also, here also, let us look into it, let us examine it, and we'll, we'll be able to uh, frame for and resolve the hysterias. So what are these hysterias that we're talking about? So what is it in Sefer Kehelis and Maid Varav Seisim says, and what are the steers in Sefer Kehelis Ksiv, Altan Ksil, Kiv It says, don't answer a fool according to his, his foolishness. He's a Ksil, he's a fool. Don't pay attention, don't answer. Uksiv, Ane Ksil, Kiv But the other Pasuk says, answer him. Answer him according to his folly. Loikasha, Habadi Retera, Milda Alma. It's the difference that we're talking about, the Retera, or things that are not deritera, or things in general. In things which are not deritera, don't don't be miachas to his his uh, to his folly. Things that foolish as narishkeit, don't pay attention to it. And deritera though, try to for emperor. When it's coming to deritera, even though it may be foolish, but for emperor. So what is an example of that? Kihada who also came the rebbe. A person came in front of rebbe Yomer Lei. He said to him, Ishtcha Ishti. He said, Your wife is my wife. Oh, Banecha Bonai, and your children are my children. So, his, he was a, he was a, a fool. Yes, uh, uh, so here we apply the Pasuk Altana Ksilki We don't, we don't answer him according to his folly. Amrale, so he, he wasn't Gaira City, he, he now, he now answered him something that did not relate to the what the what the statement was that the person made. He said, "You want to drink a cup of wine?" So he gave him a cup of wine. She also pocket. He drank the wine and he burst. It was an ancient mishmaim because he was also in the covenant of Rebbe, and he gave him the wine and he burst. So he was not miyachas at all with this narish guy with the foolishness that the person was saying. Similarly, how would also come to Rebbe it came from Raleigh, he said, Imcha Ishti, he said, Your mother is my wife. Va'ata bene and bana, and you're my and you're my bene, and you're my child. Again, this Narishkeit. So he wasn't a yachas to this Narishkeit. Amrale he said to him, You want to drink a cup of wine? He drank it and he burst. Amrabhia Ahindli Slusis al Rabbi. So the davening that Rabbi Davin helped him. So the davening that Rabbi Davin helped him. That it helped him that it should not make his his children to mamzerim because according to this what this person was saying is that he said that his wife said your wife is my wife etc. Then they in fact what he was saying is he was being mighty shemra on Rabbi's children that mamzerim his davening helped them that this was the end of this person and he was not successful in being mighty shemra that Rebbe's children were mamzer. The Rebbe, what do we see the davening of Rebbe? Where do we see that it had, in that way it helped? The Rebbe, <coughs> Yav Matzli, when he davened Omar, he said, Save us from these people, save us from Ozipanim and Ozipanim, from Chutzpetik, Chutzpetik of people. Now, Ozipanim also has a reference to mamzer, so save the daven to be saved from Mamzerim, meaning even if there be a Shemra, someone be mighty Shemra, on his children Mamzerim, this would protect him from it, and this is what happened in that Misa. So we see that in general items, you're not miyachas to a fool. Don't answer him, and don't be miyachas. Now we're saying to resolve the steer, we're saying, but in Divri Taira, you are miyachas. But Divri Taira, Mahi, what's an example in Divri Taira, where you are miyachas? Kihadi, Asrom, Gil of Gadarish, Darshan, Asida, Isha, Shetel, Bechol, Yayim. When Mashiach comes, then women will give birth every day. Shenemar, Hara, Vyoleres, Yachtav. It says Hara shall be pregnant, and Yoleres, and give birth, Yachtav, together, meaning on the same day that she will be pregnant and give birth. Legal of Eloisa Talmud, a certain Talmud this and started making fun of it. Omar and Kol Chodesh Tachos Hashamesh. We know from the Pesach says that there's nothing new under the sun, meaning that the Darchei Ateva, the laws of nature, don't change. These are the laws of nature, and nothing will change, even in the time of Shiach, that won't change either, and it'll be the normal period of pregnancy. 
Amrloi, boy, Varelcha, the Gemara, somebody was there. Come, I'll show you that this is not Takos Hashemish, because we do have a precedent of this. True, it's not by women, but there is a precedent in this world, in Oilam Azeh, that there is a conception and birth on the same day. So we see that this exists in the world, that the chicken lays the every day, the hen lays an egg. So therefore, you see that this happens in this manner, even by the Mazah. Another example is that the Su Yosef Rabbi Mulem, the Gadarshi Darshan, the city, Lona Shemaitzim, Paris, Bukhal Yom, that lost the Lavai, that trees will produce fruit every day. Shinema, the Nosa Anath, Hosa Peri, that the branch will bring forth fruit. So it will bring forth branches, it will bring forth branches and fruit. So you'll see that Ma Anath is a comparison, Ma Anath, Bukhal Yom. So branches come forth every day. Apri b'chol yom, fruit will come forth every day. A legal of Eloisa Talmud Omar Maxivin Kol Chalish Tachos Hashemesh. I said again the same type of time that the laws of nature will exist. The laws of nature don't change, and fruit the the trees don't bear fruit every day. So Amar Lehi said, "Boy, Rechem to Moshe Malam said, 'Come, I'll show you a precedent. I'll show an example of something that does exist.'" And I must say, it's true that not all fruit-bearing trees bear fruit every day, but there is a precedent. And also, love, I, it will be extended to other trees and other fruit, and that's not called Chodesh Tachaz Hashemesh. What did he show him? He showed him a caper bush. A caper bush has three, we learned in, in Sechaz Brachos, that it has three types of fruit, and every day, a new different one of the three can come out and can be produced. So you could have that every day there are new fruit because it has three different types that are come forth at different intervals. And you could have that every day there's another new fruit that comes forward. And another example of what we were discussing is Su Yosef Rabangil Vakadar Shidarsha Nasida Yisrael Shitaisik Luskoy Sukli Milas. He said Lost Love in the time of Mashiach, the Rat Yisrael, the land will bring forth it will come from the land that will be rolls of bread and wool and fine woolen clothing. That will come from the ground of Eretz Yisrael in the time of Mesiyah. And Amar, he pisas bar ba'aretz. It will say, he, it says, he pisas bar ba'aretz. So from the land will be pisas bar. Pisas can be understood to be the pasyad, so like grain which is flattened out to make bread, or ksenis pasim. Pisas bar, so it's a reference to both rolls and woolen clothing, fine woolen clothing. Legal advice of Talmud, so he laughed again and he said, Omar, ain't kol chadash Nothing new in the world. This is defies the laws of nature, and there's ain't kol chadash tach shamesh. I can't be. Omar lay by verachadik mosam oil mazah. Again, he said, I'll show you a precedent in oil mazah. So it exists in Oil Maseh, it will merely be extended to other things and be magnified in the time of Mashiach. What did he show him? So he showed him that there will be mushrooms and truffle that grow and are round and they grow and they come quickly out of the ground. And therefore it, it is, you see, that comes from the ground, things that have an appearance of rolls and it's edible, they're food, and they come very quickly from the ground. And for as far as the clothing, the woolen clothing, Navra Bar Kaira. He showed him the bast of the palms of heart. From the bast, it can be made, it can be woven and made into different types of materials. So we see that from the ground comes something that you can make into materials. So it's not considered Chodesh, it's not a violation of that Pasuk. So we see over here we resolve the stira and the Psukim. And we see over here that how it is where we don't answer a fool and where we do answer a fool.